what's up sun rays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome today i'm going to be doing another wash and go and i am going to be using the eden body works lavender aloe moisturizing line you guys have been asking me to use this line or review this line for a while so i'm going to get into it today because uh this line has a moisturizing co-wash and not a shampoo i did go ahead and shampoo my hair first then i went in with the moisturizing co-wash and it is a conditioning cleanser to remove residue and build up between regular washings okay so it is a gentle cleanser it's supposed to restore moisture and it's supposed to aid in detangling. So because it said it is a gentle cleanser to use in between washings, I wanted to make sure that my hair was clean. So that's why I went in with shampoo first, went in with this as my second wash. I like this as my second wash. My hair was a little bit um, tangled on the ends or whatever because of the shampoo, of course. And when I went in with this, this got the tangles right out. It does have some slip to it. Here is a texture shot. As you can see, it is creamy. It spreads very well. It is spread throughout my hair nicely. It is thinner than the coconut co-wash that comes in the jar, but it's still good. Um, I was able to get it through my hair. I added a little bit more water. It gave me, you know, a little bit of foam that I like. I was able to get those tangles right out and I liked it. It has a nice smell to it. Just a nice sweet smell in my opinion, not overpowering or anything. So I liked it. My hair felt hydrated after I used it. After that, I went in with the anti-breakage deep conditioner. Um, and of course, guys, I have used these products um, more than once, as you can see. So this is down to here. And then the deep conditioner is down to here because I was going to review these products uh, probably last year sometime. And I wanted to reuse them again before I put that review out. Went to look for that review so I could just add to it. Couldn't find it. I think it's on an old disc or something like that. So, or SD card. So, I don't know where it is. So, we're just going to start fresh, basically. So, this is a protein-free deep conditioner designed to strengthen weak strands and moisturize hair. It's color safe. It protects against damage. It enhances hair's natural elasticity and it's uh, beneficial for all hair types and textures. It says basically you apply a generous amount to clean wet hair leaving for a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes then rinse for deeper absorption add heat um, and so that's what I did. Of course I put it in added heat and um, deep conditioned for about 20 minutes so there you go. Then I rinsed it out. I will say that when I rinsed out my hair, my hair didn't feel overly moisturized. It did feel somewhat strengthened, um, but it did feel hydrated. So it didn't feel dry or straw-like or over, you know, protein-y or anything like that because it is protein-free, but it did have a strengthening feel to it. It didn't have that same um, moisturized feel that you get with some moisturizing um, deep conditioners. Yeah, I, I do want to let you know that this particular deep conditioner. Ugh, if I can get it out. It's very thick. So if you like the deep conditioners, you'll like this. I did feel like I had to add water to it to help distribute it through my hair, but it did have slip. I was able to detangle with this deep conditioner, but again, it is a very thick deep conditioner in my opinion um, because I was able to add water and then I was able to get it to distribute and detangle my hair. I am not opposed to this um, deep conditioner. I think it's fine. I will say if you like Eden Body Works other deep conditioners, you'll probably like this. If you are not a fan of their other conditioners, then you know this may be a hit or miss for you because again, it has more of that um, strengthening feel versus a really moisturized feel, but it is protein free. So, um, 
yeah not sure what's giving it that strengthening i don't know if it's the lavender or what but anyway after i rinsed out the leave the um, deep conditioner i went in with the moisturizing leave-in it is in my hair now i put it in in the shower and there is the texture of it again um creamy it does spread out nicely as you can see all of the products smell the same just a light scent a little bit of lavender not overly lavender or anything like that this leave-in did sink into my hair nicely i don't have a lot sitting on top as you can see and i need to go ahead and start adding my gel so my hair doesn't dry out um i will say that this leave-in uh, did start to define my curls. I did notice that it started to define my curls. It seems like it has some type of a um, curl agent in it or holding agent or something like that. It's something in it that started to define my curls, which I like their other, um, the coconut leave-in does the same thing in my opinion. So yeah, I like it. Basically it says to apply this generally to freshly washed hair. For best results, do not rinse, use daily as needed. So it's supposed to smooth the hair shaft, protect against breakage, and is excellent for all hair types as well. And it is supposed to add moisture to hair before styling. So that is in my hair now. And now we are getting ready to go in with the smoothing gel. This gel can be used for wash and goes, twist outs, or braid outs, um, or smoothing styles as well. Um, it's supposed to provide lasting flake free hold. So we're going to see, um, it is supposed to control frizz and boost shine. And it says to apply it to clean hair, wet or dry for waves, curls, and coils, apply and scrunch to define for sleek updos and edges, apply along the hair line and smooth using hands or soft bristle brush. So, yeah. And, uh-oh, this is what the gel looks like. Um, this smoothing gel reminds me very much of the, um, as I am smoothing gel that I like, and I normally use it for um, twist outs. I haven't used that, I don't believe, for a wash and go, but it reminds me very much of it as far as texture is concerned so yeah it is it's kind of hard to describe the texture but if you have the as i am smoothing gel it's very similar so yeah we're going to go ahead and apply this to the hair what i am going to do is get some um, warm water in my bottle so i can wet my hair because i want to add some water to make sure try to alleviate some flaking because again, it says to apply to, well, it says apply to wet or dry hair. It says apply to wet or dry hair. So I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna apply it like it is first, see how it works. And then if I feel like I need water, I'll add water. So stay tuned. Okay, I am back, got my water. So let's go ahead and start applying the gel to my hair so this is what my hair looks like with just the leave-in and guys I will say that when I apply the leave-in I did again add a little bit of water to my hair help to just to distribute it through um, and to and then I just kind of squeezed it in because I wanted to make sure that it went into my strands and I squeezed out any excess leave-in. So we're going to see because I don't want any flaking. So I'm getting ready to go in with the gel and I'm just going to get a little bit. Rub it between my hands and apply it to my hair. I'm 
get a little bit more for those ends. Y'all know I like my ends coated. a little bit more because this chunk of hair is a little bit thicker and longer than what was under here. how I feel about the application and texture when added to water. Feels very similar. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add water up here just to help try to alleviate some frizz. So that's the first section. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other three sections and you guys can watch. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you're learning great 
night school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that golden rule? Why is our love it one-sided? It should really be give and take Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'm a judge Tweeted and deleted Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't Try to talk about it Our history says we'll just argue And I know you're gonna act a fool And then no one could tell the difference Between me and you, babe Watching from a distance Hiding these feelings Going through changes Mad but now it's at my own gel so I got it's about right to here I don't know I may have used too much I hope I didn't I don't want flaking I did add water when I felt like it was needed so yeah um, I'm going to sit under the dryer and I'll be back and we'll talk about the products when I get back so stay tuned okay guys so so far so good this is my hair from under the dryer soft no crunch whatsoever very soft actually so um i'm okay with my hair looking like this and i thought about just leaving it but i think i'm gonna go ahead and stretch it just because i want to see if i get any flurries or anything like that um so let me stretch it real quick a little bit and i'll be back okay guys so i stretched my hair some and I actually stretched it more than I wanted to, but it's so soft that when the heat hit it, it just stretched. It just stretched. So very soft, very soft, but it does feel very moisturized as well. It feels pillow soft. Um, I like the fluff of it. It still has uh, some definition and I can definitely feel the definition on the ends. And I'm hoping it doesn't matte too much when I sleep on it. I am going to try to use scrunchies to kind of keep it from matting on my back to my scalp. And I did that in my previous video as well in case you guys are wondering and it's still matted. So we're going to see. But for right now, I didn't see any flurries whatsoever. I don't see any flurries in my hair. My hair just looks regular. Look, doesn't look overly shiny. Just looks regular. So um, I do have on a light color shirt, but again, I don't see any flaking and I definitely didn't see any when I was stretching my hair. Sometimes you can see it, so I didn't see that. So I think that these worked well together, but again, like I said, I wanna wait. I wanna come back tomorrow or either on day three, depending on how long it lasts to show you what it looks like then. So I know that I don't do that all the time. I'm getting away from that. And that is because if 
I do my hair in a wash and go with the gel that I am familiar with say the ice curls or wet line or whatever I'm familiar with I can kind of tell when my hair is done the way it's going to look on day three it's just going to get a little bit bigger but the curls are going to be there and all that type of stuff when I use a softer gel a more custardy slimy softer gel that I'm not used to like this my first time using it then I want to come back because I want you guys to see it as well. I want to tell you, you know, what I did, what I didn't do, whether I think it'll work for you or not. So with that being said, I am going to try to come back tomorrow or either on day three just to show you what it looks like. Uh, okay, guys. So just wanted to come on and show you my hair. It is about 110 the next day. Now, um, what I did last night is I just took my hair loosely like this, put a scrunchie on, loosely like this. I didn't mess with the bangs because they already hang a little longer. Put a scrunchie on and then I put a bonnet on and I slept. That's what I did. Took out the scrunchies. and fluff my hair a little bit. It did have little lines here where the scrunchies were, but I just let it, you know, kind of just loosen up on its own for a couple hours while I did some editing, drink some coffee and stuff like that. And I didn't get up until like about 10.30. It is what it is. I got up about 10.30 and took my shower with my bonnet on and had my scrunchies in with my bonnet on got out then I took out my stuff just in case you guys know because I used to let the steam fluff my hair I don't necessarily do that anymore especially with this soft toe mm -mm. so yeah so then I got you know took my shower got dressed took the scrunchies out and then just let my hair do what it wants to do so three hours later a couple hours later this is what my hair ha is looking like so I have not stretched it with heat I have not stretched it, you know, with bands or anything. Like I said, scrunchies, that's it. Took it out, let it fall where it wanted to, fluffed it a little bit, this is it. So far, so good. So far, I like this. My hair did not mat down. My hair is still fluffy, soft. No crunch whatsoever, but I still can feel the hold in my hair. So I can feel the dip. Um, Y'all can't see, I need to. Uh, my chair a little bit but I can still feel the hole so if I lift this up you see the crinkles in my hair I actually can feel those with my hands but it's soft there's no crunch so I can feel the definition on the ends I like this gel so far still don't have any flaking don't have any flurrying my hair still looks um, like hair it hasn't gotten like any duller or a grayness to it or anything like that. This is what it looks like. And guys, I like it. And I and I know that it's going to be the same way tomorrow, which would be third day. However, um, I know I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so I didn't know if I would be able to get on and show you third day. So I definitely wanted to show you the next day and tell you what I did. So... Um, if I can get a picture of third day, I'll go ahead and put it right here. But if not, you see my hair, it looks just like it did yesterday. It may be a tad bit bigger than it was yesterday, but it definitely looks the same. It feels the same and it has movement out of this world. It feels like hair. There's no stickiness. There's no tackiness. Um, there's no oiliness. My hair doesn't feel like I have any product on it right now with this gel and this leave-in. This is the experience that I am getting. So yeah, just wanted to come on and show you next day hair. Now back to the video. That was my second day hair. So let me know what you think after seeing it. Let me know if this these products are something that you would pick up, that you would try. If you've already tried them, leave your experience in the comment section below so we all can learn from it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.